Get ready to be blown away by the incredible advancements in aviation engine technology. Today, we're diving into the fascinating world of Boeing and Airbus, where the race for efficiency has reached new heights. In the past decade, both companies have upgraded the engines of their iconic 727 and Airbus A320 families, resulting in a staggering 14 to 15% increase in fuel efficiency compared to their older counterparts. But hold on to your seats because the CFM Rise engine is about to rewrite the rulebook, surpassing all previous performance records. Welcome to Futuricity. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video. To understand why the Rise engine is causing such a stir, we need to explore the evolution of jet engines over time. If you compare the engines of older aircraft with those of today, you'll notice a consistent trend. They keep growing in size. Why? Well, to generate more thrust, an engine has two options. It can either push the air backward faster or push a larger mass of air at the same speed. The latter option, known as a high bypass ratio, is the key to greater efficiency. Turboffin engines have embraced this concept by increasing their bypass ratios, which means they use larger fans to push more air around or bypass the engine core. However, there's a catch. As engines grow larger, they also become heavier, which poses its own set of challenges. Despite this weight penalty, modern high bypass turboffins have managed to outperform their older counterparts. But what if there was another way to propel a massive amount of air backward without sacrificing efficiency? Enter the intriguing concept of the prop fan, also known as the unducted fan or open rotor. Back in the 1980s, engine manufacturers and aircraft builders were captivated by the potential of open rotor designs. Imagine engines with two counter-rotating fan discs equipped with variable pitch, offering unmatched efficiency. Engines like the Pratt & Whitney Allison 578 Delta X-Ray and the General Electric GE36 took the lead in this innovation race. In fact, they were even considered for the Boeing 7J7, a planned replacement for the legendary 727. However, as with many pioneering ventures, challenges emerged. Concerns arose about the reliability of the gearbox and the excessive noise levels generated by open rotor engines. Regrettably, these challenges led to the cancellation of the project. Boeing's ambitious goal of achieving a 20% increase in efficiency in their next airliner has paved the way for the development of the CFM RISE engine. Created through a collaborative effort between CFM and Safran, the RISE engine promises groundbreaking improvements in both efficiency and noise reduction. Utilizing advancements in design, materials, and computing technology, the RISE engine features a single rotating fan with non-rotating variable incident stator vanes. This innovative design simplifies the gearbox and significantly reduces noise levels, offering a glimpse into the future of aviation. But that's not all. While the current highest bypass ratio for single-aisle aircraft, turboffins, stands at around 12 colon 1, the RISE engine pushes the boundaries with an incredible bypass ratio of 15 colon 1. This means it can move a larger mass of air more efficiently than ever before, setting a new benchmark for the aviation industry. In the 1980s, engine manufacturers like Pratt & Whitney and General Electric were on the verge of a revolutionary breakthrough. They were developing prop fan engines, also known as open rotor engines, that had the potential to redefine efficiency and thrust in the aviation industry. Unlike the turboffins we're familiar with today, these early open rotors featured two counter-rotating fan discs with variable pitch blades, maximizing their efficiency even further. Two prominent designs emerged during this era, the Pratt & Whitney Allison 578 Delta X-Ray and the General Electric GE36. Pratt & Whitney built upon previous prop fan research conducted by Allison for NASA, while General Electric based its design on NASA's own findings. Interestingly, the French engine manufacturer Snecma, now Safran, was a minority partner in General Electric's project. It's worth noting that Snecma and General Electric were also collaborators in the successful CFM-56 joint venture, which continues to thrive today. Why were Pratt & Whitney and General Electric investing their efforts into these prop fan engines? The answer lies in Boeing's ambitious plans to replace the legendary Boeing 727 with a more advanced aircraft, the Boeing 7J7. While the larger Boeing 757 had already taken on the role of a 727 replacement, 
Boeing recognized the need for a smaller, more efficient option that could cater to customers who preferred to stick with a smaller aircraft. This is where the 7J7 came into the picture. The 7J7 project was well underway, with Boeing engaging in discussions with numerous airlines interested in replacing their aging fleets of 727s, DC, 9s, and even earlier versions of the 737. Boeing envisioned the 7J7 as a marvel of aerospace technology, incorporating space-age materials, advanced cabin layouts, and state-of-the-art avionics. In fact, they even shared enticing images of a fly-by-wire cockpit featuring control sticks instead of traditional yokes. However, despite the promising prospects of the 7J7, it ultimately met an unfortunate fate. The prop fan engines, although ahead of their time, presented significant challenges. The Pratt & Whitney Allison 578 Delta X-Ray employed a gearbox to drive the counter-rotating fans, raising concerns about the reliability of these gearboxes. General Electric's GE36, on the other hand, avoided the gearbox issue but suffered from excessive noise levels, which plagued both designs. In fact, these open rotor engines were even louder than the low bypass turboffins used in aircraft like the MD-80 and the 727 at the time. While some argue that the noise issue was somewhat exaggerated, it's important to consider that modern engines like the CFM Leap and Pratt and & Whitney's geared turboffins are significantly quieter than their older counterparts. Additionally, the late 1980s saw a drop in oil prices, leading airlines to become less enthusiastic about investing in a new, noisy aircraft that relied on unproven technology, despite its potential efficiency gains. With these challenges mounting, Boeing decided to shelve its plans for the 7J7 indefinitely. McDonnell Douglas, another major aircraft manufacturer, also explored the possibility of fitting these prop fan engines on an MD-80 derivative, but airlines showed little interest in the concept. What has changed since those early designs that would make the CFM Rise engine not only possible but also desirable? Stay tuned as we uncover the exciting developments that have taken place and understand why the aviation landscape is ripe for the resurgence of such groundbreaking engine technology. It's a hot topic, especially considering Boeing's recent statement that their next airliner needs to be at least 20% more efficient to stay competitive. And that brings us to the intriguing world of open fan engines. Open fan engines, also known as prop fans, have long been seen as a promising technology for achieving remarkable efficiency improvements in aviation. Even before the 1980s, when Boeing and McDonnell Douglas temporarily shelved their plans, the development of these engines continued. Over the years, engineers have made significant advancements, learning valuable lessons about the technologies that could make open fan designs a reality. In 2017 and 2019, French engine manufacturer Safran took a significant step forward by building and testing a new open rotor concept. This engine, similar in configuration to the GE36 unducted fan, utilized a gearbox to drive two counter-rotating fans. But here's the exciting part. Safran reported that the noise levels of this engine were comparable to the latest CFM Leap engines. If true, this removes one of the biggest objections to open fan designs, noise. CFM Rise, which was revealed to the public in June 2021, had actually been in the works since 2019. The move to a single rotating fan became possible due to advances in computing and fluid dynamics technology that were unimaginable decades ago. Lightweight yet strong fan blades also played a crucial role in this development. The simpler gearbox required by the single rotating fan design is akin to those successfully used in turtle props for years. The CFM Rise engine holds tremendous potential for efficiency improvements. While the highest bypass ratio of a modern turboffin in a single aisle aircraft today is around 12 colon 1, the CFM Rise design could allow bypass ratios as high as 20 colon 1. Combined with weight savings and other advancements, CFM believes a 20% improvement in efficiency compared to the best engines currently available is a realistic target. It's no wonder that Boeing and Airbus have a keen interest in this technology as it could shape their future plans. CFM plans to have an engine ready for ground tests in the middle of this decade, with flight tests scheduled for the second half of the decade. Airbus has even announced its collaboration with CFM by adapting an Airbus A380 test aircraft for these flight tests. 
Just imagine witnessing the CFM Rise engine replace one of the four turboffin engines under the A380's wing. A truly fascinating sight. As we look ahead, it's important to mention that CFM has ambitions for the Rise engine to run on 100% sustainable aviation fuel and eventually meet all current and future noise level regulations. However, several challenges and validations lie ahead before these engines can enter service. Efficiency validation at the promised cruise speed around Mach 0.8 is a critical milestone. CFM has adjusted the engine's diameter slightly to optimize performance, considering factors such as air displacement and tip speed near the sound barrier. Safety is another key aspect. Blade-out scenarios where a fan blade breaks need to be addressed to ensure the integrity of the aircraft and passenger safety. While conventional turboffin engines have systems in place to contain such failures, CFM will need to demonstrate the safety measures for the Rise engine's new design. This may involve similar solutions to those used in today's turboprops. Now, the burning question remains. Who will be the first to incorporate this groundbreaking technology into their aircraft designs? Boeing, Airbus, or perhaps Embraer? Given the immense potential of the CFM Rise engine, it's highly unlikely that either major manufacturer will let the other push ahead without a competitor of their own. The race is on to embrace this game-changing technology.